Good morning, family and friends and, and viewers. We're headed to our local MFA to pick up some gates because they've got three 14-foot gates, wire panel gates in stock right now, and they don't know when they'll get more. So uh, we hate to wait until we're actually really, really ready for them and then end up having them not there so that we're that's where we're headed to go get some that and some some beef ration to feed for the cows so enjoy viewing and stay tuned we will be uh moving the cows today meant to do it yesterday but it didn't happen too much going on with the goats and whatever but we will be moving the cows from where they're at now field two down back down to the north end uh, what we call field eight that surrounds um, the older boys uh, home so we'll have a little uh, what's it called cattle drive? Yep, cattle drive cattle drive later on today for y'all to watch cattle chasing they'll be chasing us okay we're at MFA Here's the three red gate 14 footers loaded in, and then we're putting, uh, we got some feed to put on top of the gates to hold them down because we're about um, four feet uh, off the back end of the tailgate that will definitely be driving home. But here we are, three red gates, they'll sh sure show up out there in those fields. Okay, we're unloading one of the 14-foot gates at the point of where we want to have it installed. And originally this was all going to be fenced from that way down there across all the way here. But in making uh, hay runs, uh, bringing hay bales and back, we figured it would be easier to have a gate in the, into this paddock from the alleyway and we can run cows to the left or to the right when we're working cows as well. So one 14 foot gate ready to be installed. We're in a, it's a gate kind of day. We've got two green 16 foot gates down um, in front of the goats that Jerry and uh, Robert are bringing back. And they're down there now, uh, getting them loaded up because we're going to put one up in this area. And I'm not going to show it yet because I'm not exactly sure. Um, so let's just wait. Well, this is going to be interesting, so I'm going to record it. They have put this 16 foot gate on top of the mule and are driving down a somewhat rutted road that you can't see where the ruts are exactly because the grass has grown up from the rain that we've gotten and they're hanging on to it uh, with one arm and hanging on to the mule with their other arm so So this corner piece, fence corner, is going to be modified a bit because okay, so the Okay, so the gate's going to be between paddocks five and six. So it looks like they're going to drive in from the red gate with hay bales all the way into five and come in through this gate and then come around over here. So there needs to be another gate over here to get into the barn. So 
hold on. Gate opening for to get out of paddock five into the barn. It's almost thirty. So yeah, almost fifty here. So a fourteen and a sixteen. We can go here. All right, now we are unloading the second and third red gates that are going to replace replace um, this 10 foot and the 10 foot that's over here for Jack, which is going to make the opening wider for the tr and uh, make it easier to get the tractor in and out when they're putting in bales or we pull in a trailer to load something or whatever. So, two red gates. Okay. Maybe I shoot it down there. <laughs> He's not gonna let you do that by yourself like that. Okay, so that one there. Get. I don't see. Um, oh, there they are. There's the new girls. More fence talking. Mm -hmm. the, they're fence talking right now with. Uh, jo oh, there's. There's Frankie. Sniffing through the fence. That. Uh, yep. Yeah. They'll be ready in a week. We're gonna keep them separate for a few more days and then we'll put the three new girls in with the uh, herd and then Frankie will have...